All right, so I'm just going to show you how I have this set up uh, for OpenVPN and my mobile device. I'm not going to go through the intricate details here, but I'll just quickly go through an overview here. Under VPN servers, I have OpenVPN running under this port, and I have uh, my settings as such. Your settings might not be exactly the same, uh, but I have uh, server mode is remote access SSL TLS with user authentication, and I have a local user. So it's going to be authenticating using the local OpenSense database. Um, then I have obviously UDP tunnel, my WAN connection, the default port. I have my certificate authority, the server cert, and these are my encryption settings. Now these things here, uh, you can th you can go through this when you're doing the OpenVPN installation wizard. It's going to ask you to create or utilize some certificates that you already have. I'm not going to go through this in this video. Then I have my tunnel network, which is obviously needs to be on a separate network other than where OpenVPN is uh, the local network of OpenVPN. Um, and you, my private network, which is the LAN. And then also uh, DNS servers. Right now I have it pointed to Google. And that's what I have here in this setting here. So if we go into system and then go into access and then users, uh, you have to create a local user. So this is the local user I'm using. It's VPN user. And that's the username here. Uh, the password you can type in and confirm. And also at this part here, it's gonna ask you for user certificate. and there shouldn't there won't be anything here you'll have to click on the plus sign and you'll need to add one and sorry my internet's a little slow here and then uh, you can go here create uh, internal certificate and you just go through that wizard and fill out the form and basically what will happen is when that is done you will go back to users and once you've run through that certificate creation wizard you'll have your open sense You'll have your certificate here. And everything else stays blank. So then what happens? So once you have those things done, you go back to VPN, you go back to OpenVPN, go back to, uh, go to client export. Now, here's the settings here. Default server, interface IP address, that's fine random local port is selected and then under client install packages you'll have a VPN user well, well the VPN user that I created in the local OpenSense uh, database and also you'll have this export drop-down and in this export drop-down um, you're gonna want to choose one of these configurations depending on what type of mobile device you're using now archive and file only are typically for desktops, uh, desktop installations. And then you have like Android here. Then you have OpenVPN Connect, which is for iOS and Android. And then you know some other type of format. So I, I'm using an Android device. So I would I click I click on Android, and then it's going to come up and have you save this OpenSense uh, OVPN configuration file. So you save that file. Save it somewhere because what we need to do is import that into our mobile device. All right, then on your Android device, in my case, um, you type in OpenVPN in the Google Play Store and you'll get OpenVPN Connect. Now, this might work for you. I This did not work for me. So um, what I did was, so I installed, so I installed OpenVPN for Android. Now this I was able to get working on my device. I don't know if it's just because I'm the certain version of Android. Um, I'm running, uh, this could vary from device to device, but I found this was the one that I was able to um, to get working. So go ahead and install that. The next step would be, is you're gonna need to get that OVPN file that we exported from OpenSense onto your device. So you could email it to yourself, you could just transfer it over the LAN or Bluetooth or whatever you wanna do, plug in your USB. Anyways, uh, get it over there and what you'll notice is when you do copy the file over, so then you just, you import that file into uh, OpenVPN for Android, and you name it, and you hit OK. And when you go back, you'll have 
the name of the file unless you've renamed it. You go into edit and you're, it should already have everything in here for you. So uh, the CA certificate should be populated. The uh, client certificate should also be populated. Uh, I, in my case, I do not need a client certificate key. Certi client certificate key, and then you're just going to want to type in your username and password here, and save that. Once you save that, now I'll just show you here. I'm going to delete this one actually because I already have I have my VPN user, my client certificates going okay, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Go back. Go back hit the uh, home button there, the profile button, and we should get a connection. And that's it. Once you see the initialization, se initialization sequence completed, you, you can just go back and you can see that there, there'll be some graphs and things like that uh, showing you the uh, activity. Let's see if I open up my Unify cameras. Oh, oh it looks nasty there. Really bad. That's the uh, quick and dirty of uh, getting your mobile Android device connected to OpenSense. I have not tried this on iPhone or iOS, but I assume uh, it works fairly similarly. I don't know if there's multiple OpenVPN clients for the iPhone, but you can give them a shot. And if anyone else has any comments on how to get iPhone working, you know, maybe post a video and share it for other, for other users. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll talk to you later.